What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to another course review here on EA Sports PGA Tour. Today is a very exciting episode. We are diving into Banff Springs out in Alberta, Canada. If you know anything about me, I do live in Canada. I am a Canadian boy, so this is kind of like our home field advantage course, if you want to, if you want to put it that way. Uh, we've kind of done a tour of, of quite a few courses around the world. We've kind of been to the West Coast. Um, we've been to the East Coast. We've been down in the Dominican Republic. And today we are going out to Banff, Alberta. So this is a par 71 course, 6,938 yards. This was designed by Stanley Thompson. Banff Springs honors the conventions of Lynx Golf while emphasizing the subtleties of the dramatic mountain landscape. So very unique design. It's, it's a wonderful course. If you've never seen it, you're in for a treat. I'm very excited to dive in and get started here uh, to check out that Lynx. It, it feels like a Lynx course while being in the middle of a mountain. It's very unique, it's very cool, it's a beautiful course. If you've been following along, we've just been going in order using professional golfers to check out all these places. We've gone for the th first three here. We checked out Xander Shoffley and Teeth of the Dog down in the Dominican. And today we're with my boy, Tony Finau, 90 overall. We're gonna dive right in. And I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tip. If you didn't know this, in this game, if you want to use a professional golfer, you can actually change the outfit to four possible outfits that these guys come with. All you got to do is while you're on this screen, you click on their name. So in this case, Tony Finau, you can change their settings, everything, but you can also change their outfit. This is something I learned lately. So there's round three, final round, their default round, round two. So some, some of them might be better than other. I'm not a big fan of that color of, of shirt that Tony's got up there, uh, but there's some pretty cool ones. We're just going to stick with the one I already selected. But that's a little tip for you guys. They all come with four distinct sets of clothing. So check that out on your own time. But here we go. We're going to dive in. I'm looking forward to Banff Springs. This is a very, very beautiful golf course. And the way the courses have been so far, I can only imagine they've done it now justice. So let's have a look. Of the picturesque Canadian Rockies and Banff Springs Golf Course. This is EA Sports coverage of PGA oh, Tour Golf. Such a Rich beautiful Turner design. In the booth by Frank Navalo. Frank, there's nothing like it early tea time to get the adrenaline flowing. And also too, you know, the golf course is perfect. You know, less divots. Um, you don't see any sort of marks wow, on the green. Wow, those pearly white bunkers. They're, they're everywhere the around this the course. There's actually quite a few for uh, from for this style of golf course, but um, they are just and also, that know, bright you know, white sand just sticks out with the dark, really rich green, greens of the evergreen trees, the mountainous landscape. It is just amazing. And as you heard, this is playing as a pretty short course. So being a longer hitter like Tony Finau, we probably are setting up for a bit of advantage here. So looking to, looking to shoot low hopefully today. Uh, but again, this is just for fun. Uh, and we're going to check out the course. But first tee box, you're hitting straight into that Rocky Mountain landscape. Absolutely beautiful. If you've never been to Western Canada, if you ever get the chance, I would recommend it. It is one of the most beautiful places on earth. And I strongly mean, like, it, trust me, if you go out to Vancouver, Alberta, any of those places that are lucky enough to see the beautiful mountain ranges and all of the areas in there, you will not be disappointed. But here we are, Banff. It's an absolute beautiful course. And we got a nice little flip shot right into this first green. Pretty short, 97 yards. Let's see what Tony can do. So a little slow on that follow through there. Obviously, we've been checking out all of the all of the different professional golfers so far, and they all have very distinctively different swing timers. So we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to be cautious on that. Here we go, Tony. Probably just do a flop shot, try and get it back. Another thing I saw about this is the the greens probably being up in the altitude with the moisture. Uh, it's going to be playing pretty soft around the green, so very receptive to spin, so you, you don't want to rip it back too far, so you got to keep that in mind, but that's a great flop shot to about two feet. Tony should have an easy tap-in par. Looks a little perplexed on that one, but that was a good shot nonetheless. Tony plays the ping putter. That's very similar to the one I play. This is the newest model. I played the okay, one from about a year or two ago. Absolutely ball. love it. It's a great putter. I believe that's the MLD so mill grind open, one. And we back it up with a relatively short par three. This green surrounded by Beautiful. six bunkers. Green also shapes slightly towards the player's left. So just keep your eye on that, depending on where the flag is. Yeah, something about that bright white sand. And you have all those, I don't know what the style of tree are. I'm going to keep calling them um, evergreen style trees. But that dark richness and then the, the greens are just different tones. That white makes it pop and... Yeah, it's a very, very special looking place, that's for sure. But we're just going to try and finesse an eight iron right in there. Again, very receptive greens. You don't want to go you don't want to go too short, though, and have it rip off the green. So touch will be everything around here. That's an OK looking shot. Again, haven't quite figured out Tony's swing patterns yet. And again, just 
landed soft and rolled back. So we're going to have to okay, get the distance left the dialed in here. For birdie, we do up. have a birdie putt. Tony's happy about it. He's on the green and putting. Uphill putt, putt, right to left. And this is back up the slope. Fortunately, not a great deal of movement to it, but there is a little bit of right to left. Uh, and we just didn't give it enough break. So even oh, even Iona Steve thought that it was not going to be that much break, good and it, it broke about a foot to the, the left. Shot. But good putt. Nonetheless, we have another tap-in little par here. Moving along on to hole number three. So no problems there. Make it back-to-back -back pars to start the round. I've seen a lot of YouTubers go to Banff so Springs as one of their, like, three and now like Frank, ideal the vacation third, destinations because of just how beautiful the resorts yards. are there as well. It's definitely bucket list. This is one of the golf courses that round. stand out to me in Canada. Is like, if you're a golf fan, it, it's kind of a, you need to go check this out. But beautiful par five. Tony should be easily able to make it with a good tee shot. We're probably going to do a little fade off the, off the rip here. And try and get it down somewhere near where that starts to snake just a little bit to the right but again just shooting into the mountainous range it's absolutely beautiful down here this one starting a little bit left honestly i wish uh i wish sports games golf games would do a little bit more coverage of some of the courses in canada we got some beautiful ones number one rank uh not number one it was i don't know if it still is there's a lot of courses in nova scotia right, Frank, along the, the right bluffs there that were were rated number one um well, that are absolutely hole, beautiful so right. hopefully one day those this courses will uh will get Mr. recognized Mr. and put Gino in the controls, game i'm sure you have fan made right. ones with and all the, the course creators especially in 2k well. so um but right now we got a beautiful looking shot coming in here it's gonna land soft we know that and we should have our first bid at birdie with about a six footer eight footer there you go yeah, Tony's so got that swagger. That He's loving it. It's a good looking outfit we chose there for him as well. So, so. all right, up the hill a little bit, left to right. Not a lot of break. Let's just put a good putt. Now this for eagle. Well, that's an eagle putt. Well, I blew it on the on the low side. Tony's got that distance. I almost forgot that this was a par five third hole. So now we got a birdie putt. Great opportunity. Can't miss this one. Want to make sure we get into the red figures early. Take advantage of this shorter course. And we do just right that with there. a nice birdie here, here on hole number three. And it gets into one under. Frank, it's always fun to play a part three just like this one. And this is yeah, this is iconic. Uh, obviously get to tee it up. Um, should be able to carry that water. That's really the only problem. Look at the bunkers. Front. That is again, six bunkers for a birdie. framing this beautiful yard, little green. Board. And what's interesting is is you, you, you see all the tee boxes. We're playing from the tips. There's one right down there as we are flying in. Uh... That, that you play that and you're taking away from half the beauty that is this this course so i feel like you know if, if you ever get a chance to play here make sure and, and this goes for any course if you have a scenic par three make sure you're playing from the tips even if you struggle because you're going to get the most out of the hole if you play it and it's what it was built around it was built from any one of these three tee boxes obviously not everybody can hit as far as everybody and that's perfectly fine i would say just take a just take a chance stand back there see what happens you never know and this should rip back a little bit okay it didn't rip back as much it's very okay. it almost Center sounds wet game. when it lands so the moisture's definitely in the air i absolutely love this course the colors are just to it's very cozy feel to it you're you're deep in the middle of the forest underneath the mountains even the path that these guys are walking in the background there the framed with the little rocks leave short quite just an absolutely beautiful beautiful place this is and i thought that was going to dive a little bit to the left good speed just a couple of feet we got a par here on this uh on this very short par three probably could have capitalized a little bit better a little harder but tony's rolling one under through four without any issue and that is a par Tony's game is uh, well, again, he's a very Frank, unique golfer. He, he's got that little shallow, or not shallow, but uh, short, uh, short back backswing. And then he just powers through the ball and he can crank four. it a long way. But I mean, the right, look really at this. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning course. Club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. It's a good line off the tee. That is a beautiful, beautiful view. I can only imagine what the real mountains look like when you're standing on this beautiful property and hitting balls onto a course. It's just, that's a better swing there. Still a little slow. Tony's, Tony is, he's got a fast follow through. And that's what I was just talking about, that short backswing and he just powers yeah, it through. I'm not used bad. to it, balance, but I mean, when you're pounding it 313 yards, I'm still doing something right. 
All right, now we're. Uh, left here today I, just, I love the bunkers. That is something that four. is so apparent around this place is the beautiful bunkers. I, I feel like I've said that about four or five times, but it really does frame the golf course beautifully, and that's short as well. So I'm leaving these finesse shots just a little bit, a little bit on the shorter side, which uh, we can probably indicates we can club up just a bit, but that's okay. We got a punch shot here. Let's just get it close to the flag and tap in. Ooh, we ran it by a little bit. A little bit of a fast follow through this time. Unfortunately, just pounded it past the hole. But we got an okay look here. To the hole. Pretty flat. Gonna go a little right to left. Just get the pace. Get it to the hole. And it should drop. It tried. It tried turning at the end there. Tony's loving it. He's having a good round. One under. Frank, the sixth here at Banff Springs is a good little hole, isn't it? It is very tempting, very easy to sort of uh, just stand up there and wail away with the driver and get caught. This is a generous fairway. You could hit any club down there and you're not going to have a problem with a second shot. So it's just trying to find a yardage that you're comfortable with. Saying that when you stand on the tee box, you just want to wail it. We're playing as Tony Fee now. Layups are not something that he's used to. I don't think I can get it there anyway, but we're going to have a power rip at this with a little bit of a fade. Just try and mosey it up down somewhere near those bunkers. There we go. Perfect tee. Going to trickle a little to the right just because of the overswing. Land soft, and we're pretty much just exactly where I said. Just a bit on the right away. side, but it should have a nice look coming back towards the pin. Is a good shot. So the yep, great beautiful little look here. here. Now his second from relatively close range. I'm going to long flop this. Hopefully we have enough club to get it there. We are just working. Should I? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... Club up to a 56 and take a little bit of pace off this. And with this slow, we've tugged it. We probably didn't even need to take any off of it. So definitely uh, no definitely unique compared to the last so few cool. places we've played where the ball was, kind of uh, travels pretty far, even on those short chip shots. Really um, for birdie. So we got to get used to that. This is working back up the hill, but it doesn't look like it has a whole lot of break to it whatsoever. I think we're going to give this a little bit more break than Noda is claiming. He is absolutely right there. There's very little to no break in that. Well, there you go. No up game knows what he's talking about. Unfortunately, kind of let that one slip past. But again, we're not here for the score. We're here for the, the course. And hey, we're still at one under through six. Not a bad score. One under for the round. Not a bad score now, at all. Par five on this opening nine, Frank, this is a pretty long hole. 602 yards, yards, kind of open. Well, it's called hoodoo. You know what hoodoo means? It means bad luck, actually. So you don't really want to be thinking about that. On there you go. A little tidbit of information for you. Bad luck. One off the tee. Giant the bunker there. Bad. Wow. That's a really cool finish into the green. The fairway kind of slopes to the left, and then it all trickles back down into this area that's surrounded by those trees. And wow, it's very simplistic i will say it's a very simple looking design there's no denying that but something about carving it into the natural surroundings really brings this course to life really truly brings this course to life and i think this that's what they utilize the right this to bite ah we're gonna find ourselves in the rough here and that's gonna be a pretty difficult shot into this green uh, errant tee shot here rich but gonna have to muscle this one out tony uses rough. that beautiful ping driver i would use that in a heartbeat it is one of the most forgiving uh clubs out there but i can't stand that ping sound that the real driver gives you it, it lives up to its name with that high ting sound when you hit the ball and it just doesn't sit well with my uh with my registry but if you're looking for a club that's going to get you in fairways i promise you that is the club so we hacked it out pretty strong there i actually didn't think we'd be able to get it that far but good muscle uh Good to muscle it out it that far. Green. We do have a putt. A Again, we're giving ourselves away. looks. Caddy's so giving us a read. This is for eagle on this, this par five. Take a full swing with a putter, but it is for Here we go. Eagle. Downhill. Going to be a little... Actually, it might be a pretty straight putt. Maybe a tiny bit to the left off the start. Then it looks like it straightens out. So we're not going to give this putt very much look at the break. We're just going to hit it firmly. Try and get it down. Okay, so it jumped pretty hard to the left at the start. It's still going to try and trickle back down. We just... Yeah, okay, so even though it was a downhill line, putt, it's it's slow. Short. These greens are slow. Trying to generate some momentum here at the here we seventh go. hole. Not going to break a whole lot. Going to play this left side of the cup. Have it go in the middle. Boom, birdie. And just like that, Tony's at two under for the day. 
Frank, yeah, like if, if you guys are looking for a fun course to play online with friends or locally with friends, I'd recommend any of the courses you've played. But this one is definitely scorable. It's very short. If you're playing with your custom golfers, it might be the perfect length for while you're developing your character. Uh, and it's also a bit of a challenge. None, none of these holes are overly easy just because it's more of a simplistic view. Again, all these are taking such like perfect shots to get exactly where you want them. Here, there's about five feet behind the flag, and then you're in a ring of bunkers, so. Might seem easy at, at the at the forefront, but there is some challenging aspects to it, and this is a beautiful shot. Again, just ripped it back a little bit too much, but that gives us about a, very a little bit longer than I thought, 19 right feet, but even still, uphill putt, birdie. A look here pretty, uh, birdie. And pretty straight. Not a lot to be concerned with. He just needs to take it straight back and straight through. He's saying there's not a lot of break. We're going to listen to him a bit, but I am going to apply about a cup or ball outside the cup. The Noda let me down. He did not. He did not. That's a miss hit. If you can see on the swing plane there, I think I had the right call. That that underswing mixed with a little bit of slow, that's going to tug the ball just a smidge. And then there's not much coming back this way. So I tugged it again. Oh, Tony. Tony, I'm a sorry, bro. This is a three putt. I've three putted an easy par three for a bogey at best. Wow, what a horrible yeah, series of putts. Right My thumb there, slipped on that last one. User down. error. Drop a shot here at the eighth par three. Green. Now we're back to minus one. Now hole number nine, 501 yards. It's a par five. Here we go. Yeah, we Get one back right here, maybe even two. 501 nine. yards for par uh, five. Tony so is licking his chops. Trees that define this fairway. Just avoid the right side. Something down the left side is going to open up uh, the second shot. And then there's that beautiful river that throws between all the that flows between all the mountains. Just a a, a very beautiful nature looking course. It, this really does feel like it, it's using all of its natural surroundings to its advantage. And you know what? Tony is going to take a little bit of aggression on me here and rip one. He does just that. Beautiful shot. Should find the right side of the fairway. We should have very little club left into this flag. No issues here. That is 170. Yeah, 171 yards to the flag. So good shot there by Tony. Made a mistake on the last hole. Let's capitalize now on it. Way down there. A good look at a second to the par five. We're going to try and bring a seven iron in here. Hit it a little bit lighter. And that's pretty much exactly what I drew up. If that sits near the flag, we got an eagle putt. Pretty, pretty good. I mean, an extra bounce forward, and that would have been perfect. So there we go. Another smile after that piss poor effort by me. So here we go. Got to get this ball there. It's going to break probably a good couple. I'm going to say a cup and a half from left to right. Get it up the hill. Good putt. Straight putt. Eagle. Oh. And that was actually a lot faster than I thought it would be going up the hill. So now, Seven feet now. we actually have a little bit of a testy birdie putt here. Probably not going to move that much, if at all. So we're just going to try and bury it on the left side or the right side of the cup. And Tony makes a birdie. There you go. Back to two under as we make the make the turn going into the 10th. Absolutely stunning front nine. There you go, so right along the, the river. Absolutely Beautiful. gorgeous. Alberta, with the yard par three Little lengthy par three, three, so there you go. The right side, but there are bailout areas short and left, so it's not quite that unnerving at the tee. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a lengthy one for an amateur. For Tony, this is just another day at the park. But if you bail out to the right, you're finding yourself right in that drink as that whole right side of the green funnels down towards that water. So got to be careful here. And as he says, you can't bail out to the right. Well, he bails right. out to the to right. Something. Please be safe. That's in the water. Yep, and just as I said, right and into the water I slipped. Tony loves three. it somehow. I don't know how you love it, Tony. Okay, that so was. <laughs> now after the drop and the penalty stroke, this will become his third shot now at the par three. All right. Nice, nice third shot here. Let's just leave with a bogey. Kind of getting sloppy with Tony. I apologize, bud. And that's not even going to make it. Oh, we've made a right mess of this. So now we're going to have to play good golf just to get back to red numbers. All right, let's just try and, let's try and dunk this, maybe. He gave it a run. We gave it a run. So we've actually... Oh, my word. This is just... 
Well, there you go. Uh, you put a long par three with the threat of water on the side, and all of a sudden you've made an absolute, absolute mess of this. And now you're scrambling to make a triple bogey. And this is where I get a little bit confused. A good hole of golf pick here. the ball up, we'll it take the triple. That That's where I get a little ball. bit confused. We clubbed down as far as we could. It was about halfway to the pin. We took distance off with the underswing, and it blows by the pin. Something about chipping seems a little fishy in this game. I got to go do some chipping drills with the coaches to find out what I'm doing wrong, because I love the placement of that tree right by the bunker. A lot of bunkers on this one, like nine bunkers. The, the placement of the trees in between, like this first tree on the right here, as we zoom by, followed by the left tree down close to the green, that to me is like, it's such a simple thing and it, it really elevates the hole to a whole new experience. It's an okay drive that needs to get over those bunkers. Oh, it's well short of those bunkers, I lied. Okay, that's a good drive. But yeah, it's chipping is so a little weird. I gotta figure it out. I haven't done enough scores, playing of this game to really understand the different types of chips. There's the runner, back, spinner. Back I mean, the obviously, then the what you'd expect it to be. But runner, swing, chip, kill it, spinner, exactly like um, bump and run. Really There's so many different ones. I mean, they all sound like you know you would know what they do. But I don't know. I've I've had a really big struggle with the chip shot specifically. That we need to uh, we need to go into the range and practice some of those. But here we go. Anyway, our second shot here. I absolutely killed that. I didn't see... Oh, maybe I didn't kill that. Maybe that was a bug. And we hit that tree I was talking about. Underswing 17%. So I think something... There are some small bugs in here because I hit the top of my swing swing pattern there. And it said that... Uh, it said that I was 17% short. So there's definitely some weird things in this game. But again, we're not here to critique the game or really focus on shooting a really low score. We're just here to have fun and review the course, but a couple disappointing shots from my department. I want to give Tony it's a good score 17. here, and so far I haven't really succeeded at uh, at doing so. So we're going to have to put our heads down here, really focus up. That's a good well, par save. Uh, good I love that tree. He posted a moment ago. This, this is how you get back. He struggled a little bit out in, uh, out in Alberta, but Frank, lots of holes to play. At here at the par 4, 12, I love the rolling hills. The That's really a beautiful touch. Bunker down the left side. That's the one that has to be either laid up, which would be 286 yards. I love the river. Anytime they incorporate that river up, along the, um, the holes, well very, very nice touch. Just hit it straight at that left bunker. You heard the man hit him straight at that left bunker. Get a good shot. So put a power drive on this. We're, we're gonna we're gonna help Tony out it here a little bit and bomb it down there. Have a couple. There we go. That is a perfect tee shot. Out of the fade, so it found the right side of the fairway. But at this point the round, I mean, 324. That is, rhythm, that's what you need after fairways, a couple bad holes. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did. Right. Okay. There. So we're gonna finesse this one in there as well. I like Tony's finesse shot. It's nice. We just got to get the distance right. A little short on this one again, and that's gonna fall short as well. So I haven't really figured out Tony's distances yet, which is a little weird because he's usually uh, a lengthy ball striker. Shot. It's a safe side of the green, but I feel like I'm reaching the top of his his uh, swing pattern every time, but just haven't really haven't really dialed it in. Now we got a very lengthy putt. It's going to swing to the right and then back to the left. Get it up that hill. Give it a chance. Go in the hole. Slow down. Come back. Okay, so. Misjudged the pace, but I mean, playing on the harder difficulties, we don't have any of those putt previews. Get that nonsense out of here. Here we go, right to left. This would be a huge to make. And we can't buy a putt for Tony right now. This is this is a hard one to swallow. Two over. This is the worst score we've shot in these co course reviews. Just not not my day out here in Banff, but again, yep, good putt there to finish it off. we're just here enjoying the scenery, so and that's pretty cool. messy, we'll pretty sloppy uh, start three. to the back nine. We shot the well, triple bogey followed by another bogey, three, so really got to dial it in. Let's get back to, uh, let's get back to par. The right play. Well, another lengthy par three. Back, um, that first two thirds of the green is just like a nice big circle. You hit it anywhere on that, you're going to have a putt of some 20, 25 feet maximum for birdie. There you go. If you get it on the green, you got a good shot. We're just going to take a little club off this. Hope that it rolls in. No finesse shot here. 
and it's hopped out to the right again so really struggling to find any sort of good iron shots here not and bad though it did land not soft green but not a terrible spot either sitting up in the short grass i don't really like the idea of a pitch shot here in case it runs by but we'll just take some off of this not bad we'll take that i will and say these uh this back nine has been been Mark quite a bit harder than what we saw in the front you're being too kind uh that's not at all ideal good par putt Okay. Can't All right, let's let's get back on. We got four par fours in a row and a par five. No more of these long par threes, although they're very beautifully designed. There is the beautiful resort you see in the background. That's the resort I'm talking about. Absolutely stunning shot right there. Look at this bunker up close. So the best holy jumping down the right side, coming in from that sort of right line. So don't be fooled here. Okay, so left is no good. Right is the is the path. So we want to stay on this right side. Just rip it. That is such a like that that chalet that's up there is iconic with this course, golf course. It's in all these cinematic pictures you see on the internet. Yeah, that's a nice Imagine staying there and getting to come out here and golf in the middle of the mountains. Set up just fine. Absolutely breathtaking. Now, Look at that. That is such a cool looking resort. But here we go. His Second from Zachary, Tony. We need a good shot here. We need a good shot. 113 to the hole. And I've under hit it right. again. I just can't figure Sandwich out Tony's distances. And it's drifting. So, so far, right. I've struggled the most with uh, with Fina. I, I just, yeah, I can't seem to get his shot dialed in. It's just so different than everybody else's. The timing. It's a it's a much slower backswing with such a fast follow through. It's really unique. And they did a good job capturing it, this to be honest with you. Feet. There we go. Let's just get this in the hole. And we burned it on the low side oh, again. There, oh, Tony, the buddy. We are struggling out here. I'm not going to lie. These are tougher than I expected. I knew this was a short course. They've done a good job putting the pin positions in harder spots. However, that's no excuse for not figuring out his uh, his swing. Another very attackable par four. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help go a little further. Does go downhill considerably, so you get a little bit more. There you go. You heard the man a slinging draw. So we'll we'll do a big slinging draw. Get some extra distance if we can. We're going to do a power power shot as well. Here we go. Big one. I can't figure out this man's shot. It's so weird. He's got a great swing. It's just very different than 331 carry from Tony. Obviously downhill, big downhill off the tee box. Makes the second shot very tricky. Second shot upcoming with that pin tucked in the front left. All right, let's get the distance figured out here. Don't really get it figured out on this one, but that should be, oh my gosh. Did it not say the distance was going to be to the front of the green? What am I missing here from my boy, Tony? I apologize, guys. This is uh, this is user error not figuring out how to play the golfer. <laughs> I've been playing too much of my career. I'm so used well, to uh, the shots that turn my with, pros. You'd like to be a leisurely swing stroll speed. out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Give me something here, game. Give me something here to work with. All right, well, we got a messy, messy scorecard now. Messy scorecard. Okay, well, I would love to finish with, with three birdies would be really nice. Maybe even two short. birdies and an eagle. <laughs> Try and get this poor man, this poor guy to back to back to even par. We're, we're the, hey, kudos to Bam Springs. I'm having troubles with my golfer, and it's a bit challenging. They put we, they put all the pin placements so far forward or near, like even this one. There's about 10 feet of green to work with past that flag. That's a difficult pin position. But as we come down the home stretch, you really get a feel for just how awesome this course plays. It is such a cool looking course. All right. For me, my only job here is to come home with some birdies. That's going straight for the bunker. That needs to turn over some. 
Oh, man. We're just trying to leave it all out there, and unfortunately, oh, we're just running through everything. Hall, right? Yeah, maybe Tony's uh, Tony's power is... And into the rock. Big hit all right. There. This needs to go somewhere near the flag. Give me a putt, please. Not bad. That is not bad. We finally hit a good shot. And even that needs to sit. No way. We hit it so good and it still rips Always back. Always a good shot in the rough, but now a chance for a birdie. This so is that's such a good a, approach shot. This is such a, a tough putt, little course. Oh my gosh. Tough to see any break in this, maybe slightly to the right. Cutting back up the hill, so gotta keep up the speed. Oh, I can't, I can't buy anything. We finally hit a good iron shot, and because these greens are so soft, it just rips back. We finally hit a good putt that Noda Begay says, you know what? There's no break in this. We play yep, for the break, and it still doesn't right break enough. Or it breaks too much. Frank, as we make our way to the house, a struggle. The well, 17th, just ladies and gentlemen, very unique course. For Difficult bird, conditions with it being so soft and for a long player. It's that's good and is. bad. You know, you're gonna I'm struggling with the controller you here. I hope you enjoyed Canada. This is a uh, yeah, I mean, right I didn't play this to shoot a good um, score. I played it because it's an absolutely back, beautiful, back beautiful so course. Pitches nicely towards you, making that second shot of anything Super short really par easier. five. We've left this one out to the left. Get in the bunker now. Just get get in the bunker. I can I can handle a good bunker shot. And that one gonna be into the bunker off the tee. This is a par. Oh, this is we still have two holes left. I thought we were on the last one. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. I'm feeling confident now. Here we go. Watch this. Sit right there. Okay, we can make a birdie and an eagle. Well, we can make a birdie and an eagle to end the day. Better out of that bunker shot. He has a 12 footer. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. <laughs> we have something to cheer about on this back nine. Holy crap. What a horrible, horrible. Well, show we're got going on for us on this back nine springs of 578 yards all right there we go five. Just now we got the beautiful par five every length and that scenic so exactly shot of the mountains with the carry, white sand and exactly which one you aye, aye, aye. so nice but here we go guys let's finish strong for our boy tony i've kind of let him down he's he's been hitting the ball well i just put it in bad spots for him big old power fade Right down the middle, carry it what three three oh two roll out well, to about three fifteen. Drop it any better than that. That is a fun And here we go two forty eight. Right get it on the green. Hopefully we got an eagle. We need this club. I don't think we need this club. I think we can get there with a with an iron. We're gonna we're gonna attempt it. Ready? Last iron shot of the day. And we still so slow. I do not understand Tony's shot, man. Oh, uh, if you guys want to challenge play Tony, they've Good got that shot, that, that fast bounce, follow through down to a T. It still, is so abnormally shot, fast. Nicely into the spot, wow. Right? I actually can't believe how fast. Well, we've given ourselves a, a relatively makeable par or birdie attempt here the on this final hole been at its best but this is a good look for birdie we're just going to take all the break out of this by hammering it in the back of the cup there we go yeah that's how to end a very it. messy back day from me that's nothing to do with the course or anything like that but guys that is banff springs for you finished with the 39 on the back back well, nine but i hope you guys enjoyed it it is an absolutely breathtaking course i really recommend you guys trying it um and yeah thank you guys so much for following i appreciate all the love and support lately there's been some good feedback if you guys want to see a specific course let me know down in the comments we got 30 courses to go through we've this is our fourth um so still lots to come we're going to start hitting some of the bigger names like pebble beach and and all those ones uh in the next coming videos probably mix them in every so often but i like checking out these uh little lesser played courses and give you guys a fresh look at how beautiful this game has designed and used uh the engine to their advantage it's wonderful to see so anyways guys make sure you like and subscribe to the channel i appreciate everything that you guys throw my way good or bad uh, and i'm looking forward to the next series make sure you guys check out the pga career mode we'll see you back here for the next one enjoy the rest of your night guys bye